Documentaries give us a window into the real world and they tell things like they really are. We live in times of difficulty and trauma as well as exciting times and documentaries give you direct unfiltered access to knowing more about the world and being better informed. I think they're good for democracy, I think they're good for storytelling, I just think they're the best creative art form. For commissioning for the Guardian's website, we want things that are going to work online and are going to appeal to an online audience. We need to acknowledge that people get very distracted online, people need to have their attention kept. So the most important thing we look for is a really brilliant story. The docs we do need to have a complete story arc, lots of moments in there where the story gets pushed along, it keeps you interested, something new happens. And that is the most important thing that we look for and I will quiz filmmakers a lot on like what is actually going to happen in your film. The other important thing for us is that it needs to be a very contemporary story. What we want is something that feels like it's important to people right here and right now. It's telling you something new, it's informing you on a subject that you need to know about right now. It's going to change your world because it's telling you about something that's in the air around you. The length of the films reflects people's attention spans online at the moment. People are, I think, happy to watch a doc of up to 15 minutes. As long as it's got a great story to it, that's going to keep holding you in. You can watch it in your lunch break, you can watch it on your phone as you're going on the bus around town. And I also think that from a documentary making point of view, you can tell a brilliant story in 15 minutes, you don't necessarily need longer, especially for a story that needs to be really immediate and kind of relevant to the news and relevant to the world right now. I'm really positive about documentary funding. I acknowledge what a TV broadcaster would say because TV budgets for docs have generally been cut, but alongside that lots of other opportunities have arisen. There's people like us who are putting money into things, there's lots of documentary foundations and funds that have sprung up. Um, the big distributors and general film funders all around the world, especially in America, have kind of wised up to documentary and realised that you can release a documentary at the cinema and make an alright amount of money, so they're also putting money in. And then also you've got things like crowdfunding, so I really think there's more options for documentary makers. I think, I think the whole field has been democratised. Maybe it's got worse for people who are used to a traditional funding model, but it's got much better for everyone else.